smile. Hello and welcome to Candle Pins for Cancer, raising money for bowlers and their families against the costs of this terrible disease. Donate or take part by going to candlepinsforcancer.com as you see it on your screen. Introducing the stars of our first doubles matchup, our number five seed with a 1352 qualifiers handicap, Eric Mason and Jordan Stackpole. And our number four seed with a 1366 handicap, Kat Altaricio and Gary Coro. And now your host, Paul Grant. Thanks, Greg. Oh, yeah, Bob Lee, executive producer of Kenneth Mulling Network. Welcome to the beautiful Big 20. Again, thank you for those watching on Kenneth Mulling Network. Hit subscribe. It's always free, never a charge. Kenneth Mulling Network on YouTube. And welcome to those later on on the WON Sports Television Network, now in 30 stations across the country. Got a great crowd on here at the Big 20. We've got the fourth seed and the fifth seed here. We've got Kat Altricio and your understudy here, right? Tell us who you are. I'm Caitlin. You're here to have support Kat, right? Yes, I am. Catherine Cat Altaricio. Yes, I am. What possessed you to be a friend with her? <laughs> what possessed you to be a friend with her? Possession? Yeah, like what made you want to be my friend? Oh, her, she's amazing. Her personality and everything. She's a she great person. Yeah. Now, Cat, go over here, Cat. You're a big hockey fan, right? Face the camera here. You, you like your hockey? You, you like checking people on the boards? I do, I do. I just the fights. The fights are fun. Did you play hockey too? No, 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 no. Just bowling. Did you follow the, the main team? Tell them about the main team, who they are. The main Mariners are a great team, good young team. You like the Bruins also? Yes. You go to a lot of the games? Not Bruins, but Mariners. When I can. We went to a Bruins game a couple years ago. It was fun. All right, good luck today. Gary Coro. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome. Good, good, Congratulations for being the ladder. Yeah, thanks. You're the fourth seed? You do car modeling. Tell the viewers what you do in car modeling. Yeah, you know, fine scale modeling, cars, uh, try to build them to scale. Been doing it for a while. Right, good luck good. today. Yeah, good, thanks. Right, you also won a state tournament too, right? Before? No. Nope. That was nope. the other guy. You born in the States at all this year? Nope. Not nope. going to born in the States next year? No, nope, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. All right, good luck today. Okay, we'll, you. we'll get you in the next year. Okay. All right. Eric Mason. Yes, sir. You guys came 41st. You bowled again, and now you come fifth place. Imagine that. Absolutely. Okay. Well, twice it paid off. Yes, sir. What have you done to help contribute to Candlepin and Bowling? Uh, I, I, I'm involved with the youth league. I have three kids involved in it, and uh, I, I really enjoy you know, trying to you know, spread the game of Candlepin. You know, I've been bowling for about a year and a half. This is my second full season of bowling, and it's the most frustrating sport in the world, but I, I keep showing up three or four nights a week to keep bowling and throwing. It's like, it's like golf. And Mary Bullard, your girlfriend, wife, is she uh, wife now? Uh, she was in the APH finals last year yeah. as a 11th seed. In, in second place, she was in the final roll-off, and fortunately she didn't make it this year, but you know, there's always next year. So. Good luck today. Yes, jo Thank okay, you. what about Jordan Stackpole? How'd you hook up with this guy, DeVol? Uh, I came here one day to bowl after seven years off, and they put me on his team, and we've been good friends since. So, What kind of hobbies do you like to do? Uh, fishing, camping, anything outdoors, basically. What do you like to catch the fish? Bass. What's the biggest one you got so far? Uh, three and a half pounds. Good luck today. Thank you. All right, back to Greg Guillaume. We'll start a match in just a moment. Thanks so much, Paul. Remember, this is Candle Pin Bowling, the best version of 10 pin bowling. Three balls per frame, and any pins left on the plate stay on the plate and can be used as live wood. This is a 95% handicap format. Take a look at your scoreboard here. We base it off our bowlers' averages and give them 95% to 130. Cat Alt Teresio and Gary Coro net 25 pins, so you see it there on screen. And starting off is Cat Al Teresio and Eric Mason. Go ahead, Paul. All right, welcome, Greg. Thank you. Good to be with you again. About the WN Sports logo on lane number five, Catherine Cat Altaricio. 95 ball a year ago, a bad year, 85 this year. She's working on her game. Eric Mason, a very good bowler. Here, both out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Nine of the 10 bowlers in this ladder are from the Big 20, Corrado Pani in the three seed. With Dan Altaricio, Cat's father, will be the next match on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube and later on on the WON Sports Network. Altricio missed left. She starts with a six. And Greg will explain the format again in just a moment. If you're just joining in, it's a 95% handicap based on a 130 average. So anybody with a 70 average or a 120 average has a chance to win. Eric Mason crouching down the four and the 10. Field goal for an eight. Welcome, Greg Guyar. Thank you very much, Paul. So once again, 95% handicap. You see it on your screen there. Uh, so now with uh, two pins gained, Mason and Stackpole, who do have the higher averages, chip away two at a time. And three strings with which to do that uh, throughout the course of the match. Of course, it'll be a total handicap of 75 they have to overcome. We'll see if they can do it. 
Altresa knocks down the 6-9-10 above the Candlefins for Cancel logo in lane number four. Eric Mason spins back seven. Ooh, great lead, the 1-3-6. Great their chance. Great to see the Pindex lively here. They take good care of the lanes here in Scarborough. Yeah, the Pins have been moving a lot better this year. Mike Walker does a great job here. President of the main Candlefin Bowling Association also. Mason just missed number one. Jordan Stackpole. Stackpole up next. Cat, nice shot there. Gets them all. Give her a 10. 16 through 2, scratch. Eric Mason gets the head pin to go for a 10. 18, scratch. Greg, the update with the handicap, please. That's right. So uh, Mason basically only chips away two pins there, a good 10s from each to keep it equal. So that's going to be good news for Cat uh, and Gary, I would say, since uh, that's further above their average. Eric Mason comes in with a 94 average, so he does gain on that as well, getting a 10 in that box. Altaricio, smooth ball, that looks good. But she has a check mark right, Oof. seven left, five middle. To the right of the five is the three, six, ten. Eric Mason pushes left, he gets four as a bundle of six. Tall guy, I'll have to change the angle in just a second, don't worry folks. Altaricio, another good ball, the object pin, what a Ooh. try. Just missed the queen pin I call for the ladies, the five pin. That's usually the king pin, but I think for the ladies it should be called the queen pin. And Mason missed left. You'll have the dither back and forth for this one, Paul. It's a any doubles event, so anyone is welcome. That's the beauty of a handicap tournament, drives participation. Cat, solid pinning, 26 scratch, you three. Mason, a seven. That's my fault for rambling, Paul, but great to see everyone here. It's a great turnout for the roll-offs. Want more Candle Pin action? You've got it. WON Sports is very happy to announce that we have come to an agreement along with Candle Pins for Cancer and have partnered with Candle Pin Corner with Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton to broadcast and syndicate Candle Pin Corner Skins, powered by Lita Lanes in Ashton, New Hampshire, across the WON Sports Television Network starting this May, 2024. Cat 5-7, spare chance with Wood to help. Bunch formation on the right. Paul, that was impressive embellishment on that PSA. Of course, we know all the information offhand. Cat trying to kick it over for a spare. And kick it up. goes, nice shot, wow. 36 in the ball through four, scratch. Mason for a spare, he gets it to go. Heating up now. Strikes and spares are rare in this game, so that's the celebration. Update and the scores on your screen. Every five boxes from Greg Gouillard. You can see him on the screen. The mark's also on the screen as well. Yep, 35 in the ball, 36 in the ball. Executive producer of WON Sports based out of New York is Jonathan Rios. Great guy. If the score stay level, it favors the uh, number four seeds in pink on our screen. Cat, half whistle, it's called. The two and the eight, that's a two box. Two fill, 12 box, 38 through four. Mason's ball, he gets a break in a sense, got five. And that gives him 40 through four scratch. Not including the handicap, Altaricio. Parallel pins in front, four, seven left, six standing. Mason, beautiful shot, knocks it down. Back to back spares, 50 half, he gets one more next. He'll get $25 in bonus money. Altaricio, beautiful shot, grabs three for a seven. And she'll end up with a 45 scratch half. Greg, update with the handicap right now. That's right, so Mason has gained at least five pins there. So already, with a good fill here, they could gain on that 25 handicap. For example, if he got a 10 fill, then he's basically gained 15 at the half, and they only have to chase down 25 per. Here's Gary Coro. Nice guy. Five in that first ball. Only for over 40 years. Jordan Stackpole spins Ooh. down eight, nine. Leads up to seven. Wood to help. Coral, good shot. Go, the 10 go. No. What's not the most favorable for Stackpole, but that left cap should take it. For a spare. Yes. Ain't Great it? start. They've got three in a row combined, but it's bonus money for individual bowlers only. Aim at the pin like it. the wood's not there. Gary just 88 ball. It keeps on the lane. That's good for a 10. Living on the edge. 88 league bowl, 90 is best year out of Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Just turned 60 years young this year. High single 121, high triple 300, high five 503. Mike Gagnon is here as our referee. He's keeping an eye on uh, fouls. Of course, Bowler is very good at calling their own fouls, but uh, he'll keep an eye on that and the lob line as well. He's got the whistle ready. That one got away. On the bonus, stack pole, one, two, four in front. Behind is the nine with wood in front. Coro, 4-1 split. Jordan from Bitter for Maine, originally Waterboro, Maine. Just 33 years old. Oh, what a shot, he got it! 
They've combined for four in a row. He's got 20 in the ball, 26 in the ball through two without the handicap. His delivery almost fell, looked like it fell off the mound, but he got the great break on that ball, and already Jordan showing a great working ball here. Gary Seven, 17 through two with the handicap. It's 147, 136. The winner of this match takes on number three C, Corrado Pani, alias C minus. And Dan Altaricio, Cat's father. Gary Coro declared an average of 88, and uh, Jordan Stackpole a 102. 5 2 split for Gary on the bonus. Stackpole crossing over. Eight. Five left, nine right. Wood in front. You can see why he's the strongest bowler on paper. Gary, good pin. Good head pin action, but won't carry. For bonus money, he will just miss it by one pin. That close. Didn't want the money, I guess, Greg. Bowie. You got about a candle pins for cancer shirt. I had her a wow shirt with that. Uh, all new candle pins for cancer shirt. And That's hat. right. Thanks to Kim Baker making those. Frank DeLuca making the original wow shirts. Nice 10. Gr strong start. 44 through 3. It's the same candle pins for cancer logo you see on your screen. Designed by Hall of Famer Steve Reno. He's in the Hall of Fame 2023 class along with Al Johnson. And Bob Wickham and, and others. Bob Kelly. So many more. Tim Matero. On the... Head pin, seven, eight, two and wiggling seven, wood to help. Jordan off to left that time, four. Back to earth, you could say. Coral could use a mark for his team. And he gets it. 36 in the ball through four. Stack pull. Oh, wow, what a shot for a spare. A tough one. Three out of four. If you got the last one, you had a $50 in bonus money. Oh, if only they were consecutive. They're going to lead with two marks to one, with the handicap included. Jordan has a high single at 149. 104 is best season inning average. 399, high triple, high five, 607. Oh. Head pin hit, look at this. An inverted Greek, almost a Greek church. It's called 541 through three. A three fill that time for Jordan Stackpole. 57 through four. Gary 41 through four, it's got a 2-2 split. Good action again, just missed the seven. Any luck, Greg, you did five in a row. Ain't that the way. Gary gets one for a seven, 48 half, good half for him. Yeah, had that light crossover hit to start the frame, but pinned out decently. Both his teammates, him and Cata, over their average for the trail. Jordan, a great half, 67. Pin perfect, 67 half. Perfect game in Candlepin, tens, spares, and strikes. And for those on the WON Sports Network, Candlepin Bowling is a sport for all ages. They switch sides now every five boxes. It looks easy than it, 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 it has when you look at it, but it, it's like golf. Game of skill and competition. All right, ball switch side. Eric Mason now above the WON Sports logo in lane five of the beautiful Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Off to left one. That's on a spare. 51 half. Cat Altaricio just missed the head pin. One, three, six, ten, four horsemen right. Gap is exactly 25, so the handicap is negated at the current moment. Mason Cherry's the six pin. That would have been 11 drop in the first ball. One doll if I can't help us for cancer. Four of the six pin. Cat, good shot. Oh, just missed a 10. Got a wiggle and a wobble, but it holds its ground. Eric Mason will take all but the 10. For a nice nine, I'll take that. Very good. 60 through 6, Cat gets to 10. Bowling really well. 55 through 6, averaging 85 right now. The seventh box, first string, first step ladder of four today. Later on, the WON Sports Television Network. Mason curves left, kick off the wall, seven. Make it six. Parallel pins in front, one, three. Behind, five, nine. Cat gets the six, nine, ten down. Mason for a spare. Got it! 70 to ball through seven. His third mark of the string. Cat, one, two, four. The eight hiding behind the two. Scores are correct now. 70 in the ball. Cat missed right for six, 61 through seven in the first of three strings. No point totals for string, it's three string total format. So it doesn't matter if you lose the first one by 50, you got three strings to get it back, total. Right. 
And you see there's still a 47 pins more to run down throughout the course since it's 25 pins per uh, per strength. Mason, beautiful ball, textbook pocket shot, wobbling triangle. Middle pin is the two to the left, wobbling is the four to the right is the five. Cat has the two, seven, nine, ten. Mason threw it away. Eric from Gora Main, originally Scarp. That's all I'd rather. Gora Main. Cat, that would have to be retrieved by. Yeah, Mike's going to go and Mike get Gordon. that, I think. We'll see. Eric Mason, eight after the spare seven, 77 through seven, eight, 85 through eight. Team is on a roll early on. While we're doing that, Greg, WON Television Network is proud to bring you another horror movie showcase program, Monster Movie Night is hosted a horror movie show by Bobby Gaminster and Boris Buzzard, presenting horror movies via the internet since 2011. Coming this May to the WON Television Network, check your local listings for the station, day and time. Monster Movie Night on WON. Cat gets a nine there in uh, WON Television Network. Very thankful for Jonathan Rios for the leadoff bowlers. Cat pushes to the right as a triangle, three middle, five left, six right. Mason, good pinning, nine, 94 through nine. He's averaging 95. Cat got two of the three for nine, 79 through nine, so she has a chance to go for average. Turn on the ambient noise a little bit so we can really get the sounds of the lanes. Great atmosphere, big 20 Indy, 20 lanes here in Scarborough, Maine. Dozens of people here watching live, donating to Kennel Pits for Cancer, hats, shirts, and 50-50 right. There's a lemon drop, $1 uh -oh. for Cannon Fence for Cancer. Five on a spare strike. That's the second pin left, the four. Second pin right, the six. Optional donation, all the bowlers agreed. Cat four horsemen plus the eight. And mainly caught the Christy Hapworth special. Pro bowler, Newport, Augusta, Maine, always never makes that shot. So she caught, I caught the Christy Hapworth special in good fun. She has the eight and 10. Mason, five up, five down. Nice out again, nine, great pinning. 103, excellent first string. Cat eight over average, 87. So all the bowlers over the average so far. Jordan Stackpole now on the right. The fifth seed right now. Who were 41st, Greg, in the first qualify. They bowled a second time and made the ladder. This is correct now. Coro was not on the mark, so 48 at the half. All right, so 48 for Coro. Jordan Stackpole. Should have five marks. He has three. Yep. 67 through five. Amazing. Incredible half. Remember, he's only a 100 aughts bowler. Fastball five. Another Christy Apple special. It's a one dollar lemon drop for Gary Coro. Ooh. Even one dollar at a time. Stack ball. Good shot. He got another one. Incredible. Spare. Coro. Good second ball. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get over four. Stumbling and bumbling like Inspector Clouseau. If you know what I'm talking about, the Pink Panther. Yes. Am I, am I dating myself here? No, 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 Pink no. Pink Panther. No, Pink Panther had a re-release from with Steve Martin. Remember? Kato, Kato. <laughs> Seven for Coro. <laughs> That's standard to just send the Deadwood back. Hey, I want you all asleep. You know what can I say? Seven for Coro. Fifty-five through six in the first of three strings. Uh, we are on local access network. I'll put, make a PSA of my own. Please do not emulate Paul Grant's sleep schedule. <laughs> I get it back during the week. WON uh, production, including all their post-production, can be watched on their YouTube channel as well. WON uh, Television Network. Stack pole on that spare four. Ooh. Coro almost stole the strike. He's got this clean shot at the seven. Go right at that pin. Wood's not a guarantee. 81 through six for stack pole. And he did get it with the wood after all. No, he's a guarantee. Second spare of the string, 65 at a ball through seven. Stackpole, object pin, the head pin for a seven. 88 through seven. You could say he's slowing down just a bit, Greg. But what a string he's having. Yeah, not physically, of course. He's still hurling the ball down there. One of these days I will have the radar gun and the C batteries in the same spot. Jordan having a great string, crossing over. Brooklyn side, they call it. In the country, he steals nine. Nine who wants to go, Coros delivers eight. The Queen Borg, the Star Trek character, seven of nine. Eight on the fill, 73 through seven. Bulls are bringing it so far here in Scarborough, the big 20 in route one. 
Go wood to the left. Go right out if you can. He got it. Who needs the wood? Spare. Another one. 98. 98 in the ball. Oh, a tap of the wood almost. Not enough mustard to get it across. Yeah, Couldn't find electric charging station. Thought he used that wood in the middle. And nine. After, that's an 82 through eight. It's the Jordan Stackpole show. 98 in the ball through eight. Count those spares, Greg. One, two, three, four, five. I'll subscribe to the Jordan Stackpole show just like you should subscribe to Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Fills a six, eight, three, and four so far. This time, it's five. A mixed bag. 103 through eight over his average already. Quero for a strike. Again, the 79. Another chance at it. And the nine pin wiggling. Set five head pins in the past six, Gary Coro. Jordan missed right that time, one of the eight. Coro for a spare, could he get it? No, field goal. Wood was unfavorable anyway. It really would have required a big ball trampoline to get across. Ping pong is allowed, you could say, in can up and bowling. Yeah, use, use the sidewalls. Jordan's waiting for the wood to roll. That's the great thing about can up and bowling, wood on the deck. Yeah. Jordan, nothing doing for an eight. 111 through nine, Gary got a nine. 91 through nine, he's over his average. All four bowlers, Greg, over their average. You love to see it. Mike Gagnon is looking on here. He's a refereed APH uh, matches here in Maine as well, so he's familiar. Candle Pins of Cancer, a 501c3 charity. Donations via Venmo or check on the Ooh. website, Candle Pins number four, cancer.com. That's three of them. Spread Eagle plus the nine, just three for Gary. Yeah, right, same spot, at least he's on the head pin. What a string he's hit. All four balls over average. Mike has souped up the lanes today. <laughs> you gotta be, you still gotta be lucky. Uh, you still gotta be good, excuse me, to take advantage. Nice crack there. That's six though, unfortunately, because he had threw that second ball into the void. Gary, nice bid. A six for Jordan, a 117, fine, first string. Gary Quero, a nine, 100, what a string. Update from Greg Guillard. All right, just confirming here, we do have a, a 220 to 187 in terms of the scratch right here. So Mason and Stackpole doing their job. They've chipped away, uh, they profited eight pins, so they are doing well after this first string. Up 13, is it? Uh, so I'm not sure what the question is, but we'll be right back for the second string in just a moment. Uh, so... Uh, with handicap, they won it by eight, so they're ahead right now. All right, ready to go again? Yep. You say welcome back. Welcome back to Canopy Morning Network's presentation on WON Sports later on. This is the Big 20, Scarborough, Maine. Paul Grant, Greg Gouillard live. This is the Candle Pins for Cancer. First live, any doubles, 95% handicap tournament based on 130 average. The fifth seed, Cat Altaricio, Dan, uh, Gary Coro. Gary Coro, Cat Altaricio on the right. Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole on the left. They lead by eight officially after one string. Cat with two in that first ball. Second string of three, total pinfall for the right to get to the next level. The runner-up of this match will win $400 to split. Now for each match, stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge where all the bowlers will get to throw one ball each. They get a strike, they win $100. Mason picks it up, nice shot on the board, spare. Altaricio, head pin. And Pins doing a dance. Six. Every Friday and Saturday night, 6 p.m. to 2 p.m., it's the Rock and Bowl at the Big 20. Clean and beautiful Big 20. $13 a person, two hours of bowling, shoes included. Bring your friends and family. It's the beautiful Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, every Friday and Saturday night, where it's time to rock and bowl. Check mark and seven for Cat. Mason, four left, three, six right. Put seven on his, Phil. 17 through one in the second of three. Cat just missed inside, got the queen pin I call for the ladies, the five. Mason, tough leave, gave it a try. Hit his object. Speed doesn't solve all the ills, but it sure does help. Altricio, a pair of sixes. Slow start this time for her. Mason hooks right for a nine, 26 through two. Not including the handicap. So essentially both bowlers are slightly below uh, by getting a nine and a uh, six there, excuse me, but only just. So I would say Eric Mason came out slightly ahead out of that exchange. Plenty more still to go. Cat turning 27 in, in late May. 
One in Chelmsford, Nash, now in Scarborough, Maine. Diamond in the middle, 7-10 post. Mason with three. Uh, I'm not tracking those, I'm tracking bonus money. Altericio, miss left. Got a few to go though. He's at the 1-5, Central Worcester it's called. 1-3-8 for Eric Mason. It's not as commonplace the term as half Worcester, but it certainly makes sense. You punch two straight out, or leave those two in this case. Altericio, one for nine, 25 through three. Got foiled by the wood, good ball. Mason, good out, all three for a pretty 10. 36 through three here in the second. Jordan. Five versus four. Jordan comes down to congratulate. That's being a good teammate there. Bowlers uh, entered this tournament as duos, unlike the mixed doubles tournament, which will be coming up uh, soon, where men and women will. Uh, We're going to be talking about the next promo. Cat, three on the left side, four, seven, eight. Eric Mason spins it right in the pocket, eight, four, seven, wood in front. Annoying the wood bounced off the sidewall there, so it's not perfect, but it is negotiable. Cat above the WON Sports Network logo. Only one, six standing. Tough start. Mason for a spare. No, a little too far right. That would give it, the wood taketh. Altericio, nice out, nine. Out of that mess, 30 through four. Here in the second of three. Mason right on for a 10. Back-to-back -back tents, 46 through three. That's above average outs for both of them, remember. Get Altericio an 81 average, and Eric Mason a 94 average. Great food here, chicken, the chicken grill, chicken Greg, my favorite, mm. pretzels, they got a full bar, ice cream sandwiches, they got great burgers, they got great hot dogs, great food here, high quality. Great job to Mike and Leslie Walker. Ken Altericio, four. Gotta be here at Big 20 to get it. You know we will. Mason, beautiful ball, a Greek church it's called. Oh, yeah, and he's and he's mimicking the wood that collided one against, one cap against the other. Wood could be useful. You must stop by rule before you throw the ball. And remember, that's being enforced today. If it starts to roll when you throw the ball, that's okay, but it must stop before you release the ball by International Canavan Bowling Association rules, known as the ICBA. Mike sees all. Great try. Yeah, that's about what I expected to happen. The wood only seemed covering the triangle. Good shot, though. Altericio, beautiful shot there. It's nine. So it's better finish. Again, nines are fine, though. That's the power of the third ball. She's bowled long enough, just like all these bowlers. Eric, a nine, 55 half cat, a 39 half. Below her average, Eric over his average again. And Jordan Stackpole had a 117 first. Eric had a 103. This is great progress for our five seeds. Again, just going over average, over average, over average. Gary Corot, a great first thing, 100. Has a Oof. banana split? Not like a good old fashioned friendlies banana split. Tough leave, nothing there. Jordan Stackpole. He's made leaves like this, even though the double stack is difficult. What a bid. I mean, just look at how much sidewall action he gets there. He got unlucky on this one. He made some great shots there on the first string, Greg. Well, five spares he had? Has that 117, uh, 117 for a reason. Seven for Gary Coro, eight for Jordan Stackpole. Superwoman returns to WON. Part of Super May, Linda Hines returns as Woman of Steel in two upcoming film pre presentations that puts her face to face with some of the most disturbing and deadly foes. Don't miss Superwoman, Superwoman 14, Unbound and Superwoman 15, License to Kill, coming both this May to the WON Cinema YouTube channel and the WON Television Network. Burrow missed the head pin as the one in five. The five, the five there, Greg? Yep, yeah, one, one and five. five. Hard to see sometimes. Jordan just missed number one. Goro has a decided to break to his ball there. Just wants to make sure he hits the break point and get it curved almost there. Eight, 15 through two, both slow start, his team. Jordan, nice shot, just missed the 10 for a nine, 17 through two. Be sure to join us for the next Candle Pins for Cancer of Venice. CBN, Candle Promoting Network, will bring you live coverage of the mixed doubles stepladder live from Bowl Arama in Sanford, Maine. Tune in Sunday. June 2nd, starting 11 a.m. on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube and seen later on on the WON Sports Television Network. Roll us in May. 
information on Candle Pins number four, cancer.com, men and women individual qualifiers, top five mixed staff la step ladder, June 2nd. Candle Pins number four, cancer.com, to register for the Rawls and to donate as well via Venmo or a check on the website address. That's right, Paul, just as you see it on your screen, next to the Steve Reno logo. One, three, nine, ten. Forgive my ignorance. I think the logo, was the logo named at any point? Steve Rogo, Steve Reno I mean, Hall of Fame made that logo. Yeah. Oh, Did nice bid for Stackpole, nine. Gary and eight. Gary 23, Jordan 26 through three. I'm just trying to remember if he gave that smiling son of a gun uh, nickname or something like that. I'm not sure the details behind I should know that. I'll, I'll look into that next time. Steve also a great woodcrafter as well. He's made a wooden version of it as well, and he's made many other great Candleton related uh, wooden creations. Gary yeah. had pin hit, but look at this lead, 4-2 split. Jordan pushes left of the head pin, wobbling seven, another hit, would to go. Crossovers. Now it goes. Crossovers leave. To Kings, Greg always says. That's the five pin. Same spot takes it, Coral, 3-2 split. The 10 pin cliche is no drive, no five. Who needs the wood spare? 36 in the ball through four, the fifth seed leads. A banana split leaf for the second time today. Gary gets this one, 35 through four. Yeah, it's a rough go that he had a split, and it, the splits can be the toughest thing to pin out of there. Some call it pinochle. It's better to call it banana split. Al Johnson, Candle Pin for Cancel legend, and Hall of Famer in the house, who started the charity a few years ago. Has the world record, 1525 for 10 strings. In and the, the Pro Series record, 50 strings and 60 strings, the world record. Jordan six in the spare, 42 through four. Bundle of six for Gary Coro. Punches out two, one five, six ten right. Jordan from the mark, looks good. He got it! Wood rolls to the 10. This guy's got a bright future. Back to back spares, he's got seven in the match. 52 through five, halfway through the match. Station identification from the soothing sounds of Greg Gouillard. This is me, Greg Gouillard. This is Candleton Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Well, I can't say I'm necessarily soothing, though. I am excited to be here at Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. And excited to have you all here watching on Facebook and YouTube, Candleton Bowling Network, and later in syndication on the WON Television Network. Mason, that one got away, and the channel reset. Not a lemon drop. Yep. As long as the pins are all intact, you can reset on the next ball. There's a lemon drop of Cat Alteresio, one dollar for Candle Pins for Cancel, three dollars so far. Cruel world, it's a better shot, and yet you know it costs you a dollar. Every dollar helps. We've helped eight families less than two years. That lemon drop will some put five, ten, or twenty dollars in also. And Eric again in the channel. Yikes. Cat, not much better. Only three up. It's a lonely down, seven up. It's a lonely place. You know that third ball has so much importance. Sometimes you get sweaty palms and a rare, rare zero box. Yikes. He was incredible in that first string, 103. And wow, that one he doesn't want to see. Jonathan Rios, can you cut that out of the broadcast? <laughs> uh, and Cat gains the five, a tough five. He gains five. Well, it wasn't the internet outage there. Whoever, whoever put that uh, stay at home emoji is brutal. Yikes. Um, we can blot this one out. <laughs> but, you know, the most important ball is the one in your hand right, right now. You've got to put it behind you, get it out of your head, revisionist history. Do not let one bad box become more. It's a bad dream. Nightmare is over. Look See? at that. Great start there. 3 1 split, though. Altericio with a 4 2 split. We're in the second string of three, our first of four matches today. Four separate matches later on on the WON Sports Television Network. Oh, wow, what a shot! That's how you do it, folks! A zero box, a spare. What a funny game. 65 of the ball through seven. That's a great feeling for Eric. He's probably sweating like blood up there. Been there, done that. TMI. Altericio gets an eight. After 44 through six, 52 through seven, the second of three. Get you wild shirts while they last, and Candle Fins for Cancer shirts and hats wherever I stream live. Yep. $25 for each shirt, $20 for the hat, $10 for each item goes to Candle Fins for Cancer. Over 17 families help with the shirts and hats combined so far in less than two years. 25 included with the lemon drop pool. So again, Mason and Stack Pole are ahead of schedule now. That was important. He drops two, ouch. On the spare. Wasn't it? 67 through seven. Wasn't a bad ball, but unfortunately comes in flat on the two. Cap parallel time plus to seven. Parallel pins right, five, nine, six, ten. Left to right in the middle, right. 
Just be something. Eric back to the five. Ouch. A zero box, a spare two, and a five. Crazy sometimes. Cat, nice. Ten. Woo! Outstanding. 62 through eight. The crowd appreciates that shot. A big crowd here and in watching. Big 20 has a lot of loyal bowlers. Makes They've it a, got over 30 leagues here or more. Makes it a closer string, although remember Stackpole is sitting on a mark, so they are still ahead of schedule. Again, rock and bowl every Friday and Saturday night, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Great time here at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, Route 1. You will love it. Vintage, old-fashioned, new look. Another lemon drop for Cat, another dollar. That's $4 for Can Opens for Cancer. $5 on a spare strike. 10 on a double strike. Eric, boy, it's been a strange half for him. He can't wait to sit down. Cat, good ball, almost. Got the sticks, though. That's Stopped huge. Stopped the foot of Carroll style. Didn't get the kick. Amanda Carroll, the number one seed in the upcoming Main State APH and Open Eliminations next two weekends. I'll be there live on Kenneth Mowing Network <coughs> from Parsons Field, Maine. Archie Strike and Spare next weekend and the following weekend at Stars and Strikes in South Paris, Maine. Live coverage on YouTube on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Ten string finals on Sunday as well. Eric with a 6, 78 through 9. Cat a 9, 71 through 9. So Cat's holding a ground. Eric, nice ball. Breaks oh. the spread eagle. Altricio stumps foot again, a 2-1 split. 3-6 right, 7 left. Eric might use that wood, so the left of that two going to the 3-6-10. The broom is out, and it won't go. Cut it in front of the three pins, brutal. Great try, wasn't easy. Cat trying to kick it over, looks good. Oh, just missed it. Bad angled wood, it was a great ball. Mason, nine. So Mason ends up with 87 is only seven pins south of his average. And that including a zero box, a five box, and a spare two. Cat nine, 80, below average that time. Only one pin. Wow, off. Okay. Hey, if you're out there on Facebook or YouTube, give, YouTube, give that video a like by hitting the thumbs up button, whatever platform you're watching on. Either way, we appreciate your support just by watching. Thank you. Congratulations again to Jordan Britton and Corey Lisi of Canopin Corner. The podcast available also on their YouTube channel and skins from Needle Lanes National Hampshire now on the WON Sports Network this May, along with Canopin for Cancer since last year. Gary Coro, 1 7, wiggling 9 and 10. Jordan on a spare five, 57 half for another one. Looks good. He, oh, just got it by the seven, the wood. I thought he had it. Gary missed number one. Cap first on that one. Maybe if he hits it to the left of the cap, there's a slightly better chance, though. For the second time, Jordan denied three marks thrown, $25 in bonus money, a nine. 66 through six in the second of three. Coro, nine, 44 through six. This has been fun, Greg. It, it has been. Remind me, bonus money is individual, even if it's three marks in a row. Gotcha. I'll keep track of that. $100 strike challenge after the third string. Each bowl throws one ball for $100. A lot of you, the higher you climb the ladder, the more you can make. The more strike challenge you get. Oh, what a shot, but look at that. Wow. Oh. That a strike. Yeah. It's a funny game. I usually have some explanation for that. I really don't. <laughs> Welcome to Candle from Bowling. It's a game of skill and challenge like golf. It'll drive you crazy sometimes. And it makes it fun. And social insanity. <laughs> Gary, one of the nine. Four, seven, eight left, nine, ten right. The Jordan stack pole had a 117 scratch for a string. Good out. pin there, nice out. Eight. Okay, nine, 66 through six, eight, 74 through seven. Gary with an eight, 52 through seven. Greg, updating the score real quick from the string and the match. So Mason and stack pole are ahead by four despite the handicap working against them. And they're up 12 of the match overall. It's been close all the way through. Jordan on the crossover. Oh, uh, yeah. Diamond plus the seven. Gary on the head pin. Another banana split for the third time. Where's yeah. Casey McCool? Yeah. At Lakeside Lanes, Manchester Andrews, favorite shot. Good bid. And what a try again. <laughs> so close. Even getting the diamond just one and four. Like several rocks by so close. That wasn't a channel. No good. Didn't if foul it, anything away. On, you have to subtract pins. Sorry, Greg. Didn't foul anything away, though. You don't want to lose the pins, at least. Jordan knocks it down for a 10. 84 through 8. 
Gary grabs two for an eight. He's at 60 through eight. One string after this. Corrado, Ponte, Dan Altaricio, the third seed next on Candlepin Bowling Network and later on on the WON Sports Television Network. Sports Television Network. Stack pole, 1479. Make a name for himself today. First time on live stream, 4 2 split for Gary. Most bowlers are handicapped bowlers, so this is great for Candlepin Bowling. Pros got all the attention. Yeah. Swept the ball with the head pin. And again, the pros still do have an advantage in this. It's just that it's reduced, of course, with the handicap. You still have to bowl better than your bar. But pros have a higher ceiling because they just are able to access that and access those really high strings with their ability. Jordan 9, 93 through 9. Gary is 7, 67 through 9. Under the, his average of string. So the, all the bowl is struggling in the string. All under average, I believe. I believe so as well. Vivid example, though, although Stackpole could, Stackpole could get a 10 box and be slightly above. All four over in the first string. Jordan, one, two, eight, nine. Gary Coro with three. The stack ball is getting to a box right here, so if that had gone through the entire string, that would have been 20, and the handicap's only 25 for the pair. Nice bid. Look at that. The eight left, nine right. Pick your favorite pin, folks. Gary, good try there. Leads to seven. A lot of great second shots. That third ball is always key, too. Nice penny, nine. Even, or actually a 102 string, make it for Jordan Stackpole. Scratch, 219 through two. Gary Crow on nine, 76, 176. Scratch through two, two down, one to go. Yep, there we go. So eight pins made up for Mason and Stackpole. They've got nine to go, and we'll be right back in just a moment. All right, I'm gonna hit, ooh, don't drop the, don't drop the headset like that. I'm gonna head it to no audio, and I'll be right back. Stand by just a moment. I think we're going to be good to go here. So uh, it's third of three. I should update that, but otherwise uh, we're good to go. And apologies, folks, for the technical difficulties. And we are back. Okay, ready to start our third and final string of first round, four versus five. Update from Greg Guillard. Welcome back, everybody. Nine pins in hand for Altaricio and Coro, uh, still with their 25 per string handicap. So Mason and Stackpole are whittling it down. And if they make up the handicap again in this string, or even just make up nine pins, they should be favored. Yeah, stomping your foot, seven. Final string underway. If there's a tie, a one string roll off, Mason struggling that second half of the second string. Only one there, the seven pin. Cat with the wood, trying to kill it over. Good try. This is Cannon from Bowling Network and WON Sports Television Network. Mason hooked it in the channel. Yep. And sometimes it can get to your head and you miss it. My Cat, right on for a 10. You got a great crowd watching here today. Cheering the tense is correct. Remember, as long as she's north of eight a box, that should be good. And Mason will take a seven out of that. Runner up today wins $400 to split. And a chance each to win $100 in the $100 strike challenge after the string. Sound off and chat here on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure we're still going here, but it's great to have you all here. Live on Candlepin Bowling Network, Facebook and YouTube. Cat works for Costco as a cashier. One, two, four, eight. Big hockey fan, Eric Mason, six, nine, ten. Sometimes you get the jitters when you're on live streaming for the first time. Ain't that the truth? I get jitters just in my own league. That missed inside. One of the four. Mason just pushed left. One of the three. Don't tell that to Rob Linehan and Ryan Prouse. As far as they're concerned, I'm cool, calm, and in control. Altricio, nice hitting up the wall. Pretty ten. Mason, 10 to match. Eric, 17. Cat, two tens. Perfect start. So again, Mason and Stackpole do need to make up nine pins. Stackpole has been a strong juggernaut all day, so the second bowlers might make the difference right here, but Cat is holding her own and gaining three more. Eric's high single, 142. High triple, 363. High five, 534. Both, all four bowlers, they're big 20 bowlers. Cat crossing over, five up, five down. Parallel time like Dark Shadows on the right. Five, nine, six, ten, left to right, seven left. Eric, meanwhile, on lane four, has the one, two, seven, ten. Cat trying to kick it over somehow, too far left. Tough leave. Eric missed everything. Been erratic. Won the APH Eric Free Handicap Mixed Doubles Championship last year with his wife, Mary Bullard, who was in the finals. The eliminations, each an eight that time. Cat 28, Eric 25 in the final string. Yeah, 
And Eric and Kat have one thing in common, side by side. They both have the same birthday, May 24th. Kat with eight, Eric nine. Just missed the nine pin for a strike. Kat is the four seven, spare chance. Can she get it? Splits the upright, spare. Oh, fire it up. 38 the ball through four, Eric nine. 34 through four on Canlipin Bowling Network and WON Sports Television Network. Eric with the wood, nothing doing, nine. 34 through four, he was great in the first string, but it's been grind since that second half of the second string. Kathy Joyce playing hockey, playing pool, hanging out with a friend, Caitlin, who we saw earlier in the interview. Four in the spare for Cat, 42 through four, great start. Erica Chance, one, three, six, the nine behind the three. Third and final string, total pinfall, overtime if we tie. Cat, nice shot, oh, just missed the four. One string each, if I recall correctly. Yep, she's come close. Now will drive Jonathan Rios crazy on the time limit for 90 minutes. Well, 88's the magic number as Mike Gagnon retrieves his Deadwood. Who doesn't love more bowling content, though? Come on. Well, the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week every Friday night on Canup and Bowling Network on YouTube. Season winding down, 35-week season. All Teresio. Just missed right. Nine, 51, excellent half. Fantastic. Eric Mason, field goal eight, 42 half. All Teresio and Gary Coro have the lead in the match. And this is why the handicap leagues are so much fun because everyone has an impact on the team right there. By making up nine, now suddenly stack ball has to chase 18. And of course, Mason with his back half remaining. We've got a match of back on again. Coro missed left, coming back for more. The six goes. One, three, seven, eight, ten. Jordan Stackpole. Five in the ten. Not gonna be easy. Coral with the wood. Won't go. Three in the seven. Oh, had the right notion. Gary picks up one for nine to start his final string. Jordan trying to get this one and miss it again for an eight. Update from Greg Weir in just a moment. As we're fixing things on the go here, live streaming on Kenneth and Boeing Network. You get all the mistakes, blemishes all at once, all the bloopers. Gary just missed left again. One, three, ten, makeable spare chance. Stackpole crossing over, strike! Oh, First yeah. strike of the match, three of the bowlers. Gary got the three only. 18 plus two for Jordan Stackpole. Has a 117 to 102 so far. Gary nine, two nines to start the final string of the match. With the handicap includes a 28 pin lead for Altaricio and Coro on the right. Nine of the 10 Big 20 Bulls here in the top five step ladder. Jordan's father was a bowler. Jordan's bowling in just over seven years. Good ball there, a diamond though. Not an easy leave. But Gary, stack pole for the strike, that looked good. Only six somehow, four, seven, eight, 10 right corner. Gary, only one, two, five, eight. Stack pole, what a bid. Nine in the strike, big fill, 27 through two. Seven for Gary. Two nines, two sevens. A correction, two nines and seven. 25 through three, 10 for Jordan, 37 through three. I love the Jordan stack pole show right now. They still, still six more pins to make up though. Don't take your so eye off the ball. They're getting closer. And Jordan stack pole is the reason why they're in this, this match. Gary pushes in the pocket. Ooh. Two left, five right, spare chance. Stack pole, through it right. Pushes down the nine and back, great chance, one, two, four. 
Gary for a spare. No, Ooh. hit the object pin. Too bad. That's the sort of shot you want to throw, though. Stack pull for a spare. Up the wall. Got it. The four goes down. Big spare. 47 of the ball through four. Gary nine, 34 through four. Makes up a pin there. After this next box, an update from Greg Uyar. Well, it's currently a five pin. Stackpole can flip a lead change in the match and officially be over the handicap hump with a good count. A good load as is commonly set up here in Maine. Gary, nice ball, eight, seven of the eight, but decent wood. Stackpole off to the right. Powers down seven, one, two, ten. On the spare, 54 through four. Gary, Ron Wood. Yeah, the piece to his left might have been wired towards the 8-7, or it might have been too far in front. Stack pull for a spare. Oh, couldn't get to the 10. Or oh, will it? Just slid in front. There That's it is. That's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second shot, make the third. First one today. Not a good time for that. 44 half for Gary, 10 for Jordan. Another solid half, 64. Solid for anyone. All right, five blocks to go for each of the four bowlers. Update from Greg Guillard. So two pins for Stackpole and Mason right here. Altaricio pinned very well and got a nine pin advantage over Mason. She'll need another half just like that, or better even, to keep them in this match. Donations via Vemo, Candlepins number four, cancel.com. Candlepins number four, cancel.com. You can write a check. The address is on the website, Candlepins number four, cancel.com. Register for upcoming roll-offs as well in San Fernando. Eric Mason, one three six, got a chance. Altricio with nine. Her father Dan bowling with Corrado Pani next, the three seed. Mason for a spare, got the two on the right. Cats bowled on TV before handicap ladder and king of the palace. She knows how to get it for done. Spare, got it. Huge. Sixty one the ball through six. Look at it go. Eric ten. 52 through six. Back and forth we go. Now Mason is finding the range. That's an encouraging sign for him. For him and Jordan. A cat, Altaricio. Two marks in the past three. Boy, it's been a close, close match, Greg. Ain't that this the truth? Awesome. This is the first match. Three more later today. All four later on the WON Sports Television Network. Eric Mason. Three. Cat in the bonus. Just missed the pocket, but gets six. As a full husband left, the one, two, four, seven, a big 16 blocks, 67 through six. Mason would help him back. Good try, just missed the 10. Cat pushes left, leaves up the one and two, but doing great here like she did in the first. Yep, swing the match back to her team. Mason, nine, 61 through seven. Altaricio. Mm -hmm. Missed right for an eight, 75 through seven. With the handicap, 717 to 714. Cat and Gary and left up by three pins. No marks on the board. Yep. But right. Jordan Stackpole next has the higher average over Gary Coro. So they got the advantage, you could say, in a sense. Mason gained a stick in the exchange. Not sure why they were comparing uh, ball quality. Maybe there's some extra residue that happens in the ball returns. It happens. Mason with four in that ball. Take a three, Cat, eight. Or as it tracks it down the lane, of course, as well. One of the two. Eric, Ooh. not the hip in the goal, but leads up to three, five, and the nine. Light hit, I suppose. Altaricio for a spare, missed left. Could have used that one. Eric, nice pinning, 10, 71 through eight in the final string of the match. Altaricio way right. Just a bit outside for a nine, 84 through eight. Yep. 726, 724, the handicap included. The lead is two for Cat and Gary on the left. Cat, remember, is an 81 bowler. She's already north of that with two boxes to go. Mason, domino six, one, two, seven, eight. Altaricio, beautiful ball. A check mark again, plus a seven. We've seen this already a couple of times. Mason, nice shot. Oh, just missed the seven. The wood collided. Thanks for nothing. That was a good ball. Cat looking for a bunch here. Right to left, three, five, seven. Mason can potentially give his team the lead. It's hmm. a nine. 80 through nine. See the pin, play the pin. That's the old maxim. Cat a seven. 
91 through nine. And guess what, folks? We're tied. Tied to the match. That's 7 right. 33 apiece, handicap included. Six boxes to go. Final one for Kat and Eric. I'm hyped too. I just don't want to get too close to Jordan Stackpole and uh, jinx him. Mason or Kat could use a mark. One, three, six in front. Eight goes down and back. Seven left corner. Advantage all three CO in a sense. Eric of the channel. Second string blues in that shot. Cat for a spare. Missed it. Four hooks. Wonder if Mason will play towards the three pin, try and shade it. He Eric might have. The seven, 87 final string. Second 87 are off to 103 first. Cat an eight. And she does excellent. 99 scratch string, 87. 80 and 99 over average. Yep. Mason Five will. bucks to go. It's 741 to 740. A slim one pin lead for Gary Coro's team on the left. But Jordan Stackpole, the higher average bowler, has the advantage. Yep. For the Cat. right to bowl, Corrado Pani and Dan Altaricio. Cat Altaricio, 266, and Eric Mason, 277. Stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge next. And we'll interview the bowlers as well. How many spares is uh, Jordan had? You had five in the first. One strike and eight spares. Diamond here, one in four chance. And that's for Class A Bola stats by Kenneth from Lowen Network without Wood. Gary, good bid, won't go. Stack pole, Big Ten can give him the lead now. 74 through six, Gary seven, 51 through six. And now Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole take the lead. Four box to go. That's the important. Two pin lead. Stackpole is 26 more pins physically knocked down, so that is the handicap. He's gaining the handicap back on pinning alone over his counterpart. That's one of the big reasons why they're now favored. On the nose for a strike, almost. Also that. Taylor made spare leave at the four. Coro, Gary Coro. Coro, three, wobbling, 6'10. Wood to help. Stackpole, a bunny shot, spare. Didn't have the full width of the wood, but perfect. Tenth mark of the match. Coro, no. Somehow wrapped around the six. It goes with a delay. Divine intervention. Wow. Throw the flag. Delay again. Spare. How about that one, folks? Anyway, they fall. What a break. Makes these fills so important right now. Thank 60, you very much. 61 of the ball through seven. This is awesome, Greg. Hey, two object pins. Got to drive it through, and Coral found Jordan. a way. Spear split. Six in the fill. 90 through seven. Coro fill is four. 65 through seven. And again, Stackpole gains two. Anglewood in front. This could be tough. And the channel, no good. Minus uh -oh. two. It's the best he can do is an eight box. Gary can gain. Good second ball. He's at the five and ten. I no peeked wood. over it. I no peeked luck. over at Mike. No good. He shook his head. Yeah. Eight is the max. Seven. Eight is not enough. He gets a seven officially. Gary gets two back with a nine. Gary 74 through eight. Jordan Stackpole 97 through eight. Two boxes to go unless we have overtime. Even if you're playing open bowling with your friends, just enforce the gutter wood rule. It's cheap to throw a gutter ball. So what's the match? It's a two pin lead. Two pin lead for Stackpole and Mason on the That's right. That's right. Two pin lead. Two boxes to go. Yep. Trying to get to the next round. 5-2 split. Coro, nice ball. A check mark. Five middle. Right of the 5-3-6-10. Any mark could bust this game apart. Stackpole goes right this time. 1-4-7. Go for the short two. Coro for a spare. Looks good. Oh, just missed the king. Ringing five. Sticks don't matter, though. Big pins here for Stackpole. Ooh. Oh, got two the hard way. Nine. Kuro, nine, it's two pin lead, one box to go. Hmm, a lot of people would have gone for the safe too, especially when it's two pins, especially when the margins are that tight, but Jordan got it done. Gary, 83 through nine. Jordan, another great string, 106 through nine. Two pin lead, final box, unless here. we have overtime. Here we go. Stackpole, trying to put it away, five. Gary, might need a mark. Nice ball, but a oh. tough time for a spread eagle. Now Stackpole can just think about pins. Spread Eagles go less than 1% of the time. Thanks, Bob Lee. Stackpole, oh, what a try. Yeah, the sticks are huge now. Gary's got to get it somehow. 
Good try, and they fall short. What an effort by Cat Altricio. Yeah, the wood was kicking around back there. Ain't that the way? And Gary Coro, stack pole nine. They hang on, 115, third string. 117 first, 102 in the middle. Coro, nine, 92. What a performance by ball four bowlers. Update from Greg, the final score. Fantastic. Jordan Snackball finishes with 334. Gary Coro with 268. And it is a two-pin win for Mason and Stackpole. Final result, 791 to 789. We'll be back with Paul in just a moment for the interviews. And the $100 strike challenge next That's on right. Canopin Bowling Network. Okay. <laughs> okay. Paul, test your mic. We'll go. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Kenneth Moy Network and WON Sports Television Network. What a match. Come over here, guys. Cat, Gary, come on down. Boy, Cat, you bowled terrific today. You were awesome today. You were, way over, you were over your average. Game now that but I you're way over your average. You did really well. You were competitive. You made some good cut shots. You fell short by two pins against two really good bowlers. Yeah, I know. I, I will. I will. I will. Yeah, you bowled good too. You made some good shots. A tough time to get a spread eagle in the last yeah, box, and you almost got it though. Almost got it. Yeah, I tried. Uh, it's hard, hard shot to get, you know. So, but, uh, well, you guys can win four hundred dollars to split two hundred each. Stay tuned for the hundred dollars strike challenge. Just a moment. Eric, it got away from the second finger. Just had the blues all of a sudden. You got the jitters, and you came back with a spare, came right back. That was awesome. But Jordan really helped you a lot tremendously today. Well, that's why he's anchoring. He's carrying us right now. So You're going to carry him next time, right? I hope the heck so. Right. Yeah. Come here, Jordan. Well, you threw t 10 marks or so on that match. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Eric, Eric's turn next time. How'd you start camping and bowling? Uh, my father, I grew up doing it, so I just... Seven years now, right? So, eight years? Yeah, total, but I took seven years off and got back into it this year, so... 117, what, a 116? 115, that's incredible. All right. All right, you want $100 more? All right, you get a chance again next match. Throw out a punt at the NL 3C, okay. Cat and Gary, throw one ball each, one lane, pick your lane, one to $100 strike challenge. Knock them all down, win $100 each. Good shot, head pin, won't go. All right, Gary's turn. All right, Gary gets three, good try. Here's $400 for you guys to split. Thank you very much. All right, Eric, pick your favorite lane. Knock them all down, $100. Hey, great run, guys. You guys did awesome. You guys were over your average. You guys did really good. Better, but, you know. See you in the next tournament. Yep. Yeah, thank you. We'll be here again for another one. We'll be here another one here. Eric Mason, $100 strike challenge. Oh, he got nine. Didn't want the money, I guess. What a shot. We'll get it next time. Jordan Stackpole for a strike. Won't go. They'll get a chance again. Back to Greg Uy to wrap up our first match of four today. Thank you very much for watching this presentation of Candle Pins for Cancer and Candle Pin Bowling Network. Final scores on handicap 611 to 609. Eric Mason and Jordan Snackball get it done, and they will face Dan Altaricio and Corrado Pani next time. And until then, so long.